Okay guys, so it's I got Bob Rowland to here and I have a pretty cool invention for you. Big giant tic tacs board. Um I made this a long time ago. Before I even knew how to operate commands. And it still works, usually. Might glitch out at some point in here, but that's okay. Cause I can fix it all, I do know how it works, and I know all the glitches and I don't know how they keep popping up. But either way, it's still a good board. You know what I should do? Oh, it is on. Okay, good. Good. There it is. Just need to be a little bit closer. So, as you can see, I'm on the circle side. And... Well, it puts up circles, and that's basically, um, yeah, it works for both sides. That should put one up over there. Nice clean X. There it is. It's taking longer than usual because, um, I don't know, my redstone just hasn't been working very well recently. And if we hit this button... I'm pretty sure through the everything on the board retracts. As you can see, it all retracted. These aren't actually real blocks. These are just fake blocks. That aren't there anymore. I should render. And for it of... For whatever reason, this is apparently a, bl a block update detector, and you gotta do that. I, d I, s I just don't know. I do not get it. I could um, put a little thing to fix it, I suppose that, that would um, work. Either way, that's pretty much the only present glitch, so let's go over how everything works one by one so the on off switch basically sends power to all of these pistons you can see the were on but since the switch was um, since the switch was off these all retracted so any button hits these are all the outputs for the buttons so if you were to hit a button you would get to this thing, we would not be able to go through that block, and we would not get to the place it wants to go to. <coughs> so once it gets into the uh, chamber of tic-tac-toe, um, it goes into here and it does, it goes to a certain half of one of these pads. So let's go over to the um there we go. Let's go over here. So this is the there it is. Circle loop. And the other one is the X loop. When you hit the button to power for this particular square, and you're on the circle side, it sends a message to this loop to turn on, which it will do in a couple of seconds, but I don't know, it's, I just don't know, man. It's taking too long to render. When it does, that sends a power to all of the outer pistons. Except basically every single one except the middle one to make it look like a circle, give or take. And when it goes to the other one, it powers this. E. And it powers all the ones required to make it look like an X. So, pretty simple. And um, if you look, no two layouts are the same. I didn't copy the layouts. I thought about that when I hit the third row. But 
then I dumped it because I thought I'd get bored and I did get finished with it and it does work so so far no problems with that um yeah works pretty well when you hit the reset button there's a piston for every single loop in the entire thing this when you hit reset, this um, thing right here that's constantly keeping it from retracting, this gets unpowered for a fairly long amount of time. This piston retracts back, all of these go out, and then it extends again. It cuts out, goes back in. So that's how the whole thing works. These are um, glowstone towers, which allow redstone to go up really fast. Before I knew about slab towers, actually this is probably what I would have used anyways, because it's really dark in this thing. Yeah. Either way, I think it's pretty cool. Um, it works pretty well. You know, it's an okay thing. Now it shouldn't stay up when you hit reset. So, um, that's the board. Thanks for watching.